What is up, peeps? Welcome back to the channel. These are never fun videos to do. I, I just want to preface today with that a big conversation ongoing after this first major of the Call of Duty League season around a pro player, that being Illy. Widely known, guys, a very well known and a very good player who is under a lot of fire and speculation after some clips of his interviews during the weekend did surface. And at first, I also want to clarify, I was thinking maybe this was someone who was a bit more nervous, someone who was a bit anxious when giving interviews in front of hundreds of people live and in front of tens of thousands of people online that was my first thought but the general public and their sentiment was very different after uh this clip which is again pretty pretty difficult to watch honestly uh we just believed you know like i literally said believe like i literally said start playing tighter towards like well like it doesn't matter yep. but like yeah we got the piece p4 we got the castle row and yeah, yeah, like, I, I, like, yeah, we just, we, we just, we just believed, and then yeah. we ended up breaking people. It's probably so hard to you concentrate know, while you're just getting yeah, booed yeah, like that. Believe that they okay. You came through, but you're still in this tournament. You got one more match tonight for the few fans out there who are supporting y'all, even though y'all on the villain arc. What you want to say to them? Um, appreciate uh, the support for uh, the real supporters. It was quickly after this clip where speculation began online, and I was trying to almost skirt around talking about this. That is until you have Warzone pro players and streamers and former Call of Duty pros giving their potential thoughts and opinions on this situation. I would I would have to say maybe this warrants some type of investigation, whether that be for the outcome to, to be that Illy was not on something or whether it's the opposite of that. Also, the fact that Illy has now responded and well refuted all of those allegations or speculations of him being on Adderall or abusing some sort of substance he has now taken to Twitter to say, nope, that is it's not what you guys think. That's just a lot of caffeine. And I think that really further sparked and added a lot more fuel to this already ongoing fire because I consume a lot of caffeine. A lot of the general public consume a lot of caffeine. And although I am not an expert on the symptoms of Adderall abuse or those kind of substances, I'm not going to pretend to be. To then come out and call that caffeine, I think you're going to turn even a lot of more people's heads wondering like what is actually going on now going through a lot of the comments i i do feel bad in a situation like this on the, on the off chance that this is just nerves this is just anxiety it's not easy giving interviews in front of a home crowd or any kind of crowd or people watching online that is certainly a nerve-wracking experience to which a lot of people have already stitched together some of his old interviews where admittedly he does seem a a lot more well put together than than this latest one but again it's it's tough to watch but people are doing this. Who is back in the building after a way too long of a time period. Young <laughs> Illy, welcome back here yeah, to man. headquarters. Talk to me about your first match win wearing Seattle Surge Blue. What's up, what's up? Um, Honestly, it's a pleasure uh, just uh, being on Seattle. Like what also like what like just the players around me, my teammates are all disgusting. Uh, I couldn't have hoped for uh, better teammates uh, to say the least. Uh, yeah, and it feels good. Obviously, uh, a win always feels good. Of course. Start off the season. Yeah, Eli, welcome back to the league. And what a first match out of you specifically. I mean, you were taking over. And not only in Search and Destroy, where you usually find your prowess, but also in Hardpoint. How do you personally feel uh, on this game and where it lands kind of in your arsenal? Honestly, I love this game. This game is... Again, and they're going to stay in this tournament. And Eli, now, even though there's some bulls out there, I can be the one to tell you. There's a few people out there who've been cheering like crazy for you guys. I don't heard a few of them out there, okay? And you have been playing great. Talk to me about getting that comeback there on map number four to be able to even get to the S and D because they were set up for about a minute, but you guys yeah. broke that and held that. Yeah, um, honestly, uh, we just believed, you know, like I literally said believe, like I literally said, start playing tighter towards top, like, well, like it doesn't matter, yep. but like, yeah, we got the piece P4, we got the castle row. And yeah, yeah, like I, I, like yeah, we just we we just we just believed, and then yeah. we ended up breaking P1. Yeah, yeah, you know how it went. Yeah, 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 yeah I definitely believed that there. Okay, you came through, but you're still in this tournament. You got one more match tonight for the few fans out there who are supporting y'all, even though y'all on the villain arc. What you want to say to them? Um, appreciate uh, the support for uh, the real supporters. Here you go. You heard it from me and Ellie on the stage. Chris, take us away.
We appreciate the support from the... And then beyond that, there were a lot more comments. I mean, we are talking about hundreds, if not thousands of posts out there getting millions of impressions. I imagine that's why Illy wanted to come forward and say, hey, this is not what you think it is. It is caffeine, according to him. And we'll wait and see what the league has to say about this. I think that's what's most important before you really lay too much of your own opinion on this. Although the situation does look bizarre, I'll give you that. Beyond it, though, when it gets really interesting is you have pro players and streamers responding. Someone like Scummin, who is not afraid to get into a scuffle or an argument with or butt heads with people, I should say him saying, hey, you wouldn't be allowed to my events if this is what you look off caffeine. And one in particular, uh, that being aches saying, if you know, you know, now this is me assuming things. OK, I, I'm not exactly sure what aches intended for this post to mean a lot of the replies promptly agreeing, but Aches is also one of the more outspoken people during CDL's last Adderall incident with Hook. If you guys were not around during that, defending world champion, Hook comes out, says, hey, I was on substances. I was on Adderall uh, for my own reasons and admits to everything. Aches comes out later with a post saying that there should be some sort of punishment because a world champion just admitted to taking substance, to substance abuse. Now, Aches being outspoken there, I figured if he's saying that here, and we continue on down the list as a former world champion and former Call of Duty pro, that being Killa Sloss, has also given his response to a now deleted tweet by Gersh. This tweet was featuring a short five second clip or so of Illy having similar, ha having similar uh, emotions and reactions uh, as he did on stage. It was, again, it was hard to watch. Like, I, I really truly do feel bad. The, the, I, I hate having to talk about these situations because it is the news. To which Killis Loss goes, no, that's just meth, bro. Which is, is uh, yeah. I mean, that's a former world champion say, no, he's on something. That's many of people saying that he is on something. That is Illy saying that he was simply on caffeine. And when I, again, first looked at this, I was like, maybe it's just nerves. Maybe it's just angst, but by public sentiment, they are certainly not agreeing with this. One last thing, Killa Sloss, the former Call of Duty pro, he is also notoriously one of the Call of Duty pros who spoke up and went to mainstream news as he talked about Adderall abuse, not just in Call of Duty, but in this same article that broke out because of him being as, as a source. We had people from the Overwatch scene, from the CS scene, from a lot of esports out there admit to the issues and the underlying issues and sometimes the apparent issues of Adderall abuse in these scenes by players. So... A lot of people sharing their opinions. What do you guys think? But please be kind. All right, leave your comments here. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. If this does have a pending league investigation, we will see what the actual results are going to be. Till next time, though, take care of yourselves, okay? Stay hydrated. I do appreciate you guys. Um, we're approaching 30,000 subscribers. That's awesome. We've been, we've been grinding away. So hope you guys all enjoy. We'll see you back here soon.